Ghostfish really kind of was born out of uh, just a plaything, a hobby. Uh, Brian and I were always socializing around beer with our significant others and uh, we started to brew some after I got a little kit for Christmas. After, I don't know, a half a dozen sessions of doing this and joking about it wouldn't it be cool to own a brewery, we really kind of thought maybe there was something to it. And so we kind of started playing around with the business plan and kind of joking around about logos and names and all that kind of stuff. And it was clear that this was something fun for us and, and that, you know, we were both at a point in our lives where we were ready for something different. Hi, I'm Brian Teal. I'm one of the co-founders and owners of Ghost Fish Brewing Company. My role in this business is I handle marketing and sales, amongst other things. Uh, truthfully, we all wear a lot of hats. Hi, I'm Jason Yerger. I'm the head brewer and one of the co-founders here at Ghost Fish Brewing Company. We've been in business for close to three years now. I've been here since the beginning, since the early days when it was really just a business plan and a dream. For this, I didn't have any sort of professional brewing background. I was just a home brewer with celiac disease. Uh, in fact, the celiac preceded the home brewing. I was a huge beer snob before I got diagnosed. Gluten-free beers are beers like Ghost Fish and many others that are on this site that take the time to choose ingredients that are naturally gluten-free because we care about the people who are drinking this beer, whether they're celiac, gluten intolerant, or just beer lovers in general. Uh, our restaurant, our food, our beer, our storage, every single part of this brewery has never seen gluten, and uh, so we keep it that way. It's an integrity issue for us. So today, we're gonna walk you through a pilot batch here at the brewery on our half barrel pilot system. We're going to do what I consider a basic single hop pale ale recipe. Here we have all the ingredients laid out. We're going to be using uh, malted millet and malted rice. It's an all grain batch with no syrups or sugars. And we're using the uh, caliente hop. Another serendipitous point in the ghost fish kind of uh, history and that is finding Jason, who's the third owner and third partner of Ghost Fish Brewing Company. My wife and I, um, which by the way, she has celiac disease, um, she had been diagnosed at that time probably for about five or six years, was a beer drinker, cried for a full weekend if not a week uh, when she got her diagnosis after we had these initial email conversations and brought a big box of his gluten-free home brews and we sat in my uh, front porch, um, Randy was there, my wife was there and uh, we sat around and cracked open some of these, these gluten-free beers that Jason had created. And I knew that uh, it was a good fit for, uh, for us the moment that my wife actually had her first taste of his beer. And, and I re recall looking at her and seeing tears rolling down her eyes. Um, and that's the moment I knew that uh, we had found the right person. This is our pilot system. We got it from High Gravity Brewing, which is actually a homebrew supply store. Sort of like the top end of homebrewing kind of equipment. But, um, you know, many of your viewers may have similar setups at home. Basically, a hot liquor tank, mash louder tub, and boil cap. Simple three vessel setup. And if you want to take a closer look in here, you can see that we have the totally standard button louver false bottom. Nothing special, nothing custom made. Works just fine for our purposes. In fact, if our commercial size mash tun worked half as well as this, I would be ecstatic. There's a lot of hurdles. You guys, if you want to start a brewery, there's, there's a lot of hurdles. And so you've got to have the perseverance to, to, to get through these things. So we really got lucky with this space. You can kind of look around. This is a hundred year old building with huge timber. We have a very finite amount of square footage. So this allowed us to go vertical. And uh, the space just feels good. It feels, it feels funky. It feels like a brewery. We were just about done looking. We were ready to settle. And then this space came available and we just all kind of smiled. Unfortunately, we couldn't afford it. Our biggest hurdle was probably the financial requirements that it takes to open a brewery. I mean, you can see behind me, it's a capital intensive business. Okay, so our policy on dogs. Obviously, I'm a little biased. <laughs> you 
got to get one of those. <laughs> Our policy on dogs is we love dogs. We encourage dogs. Um, if you have dogs, please bring them. If you don't, please come say hi to Kai. He'll be here uh, just about every day of the week. This is the famous Kai. He doesn't know what's going on, but he likes it because Dad's hugging him. <laughs>Tomorrow, there was a doctor that discovered uh, a magic, a magic pill, you know, that could cure celiac disease or uh, people who are gluten intolerant. That um, they could take this pill and then all of a sudden they could just ingest gluten again and they could drink any beer that they wanted to and have tons of bread. That we probably would still do what we're doing. Uh, because we feel like it makes great beer. We really just want to make amazing craft beer. And we want to make it local and fresh, and we want to deliver it that way, and we want to make it with top quality ingredients. Um, but we want to make it for everybody. We don't think that anybody deserves to be left behind in this movement. This is our little slice of heaven.